Hi everyone, I'm Sylvolf and I apologise that this isn't a Furby unboxing video. My Furbies are still on their way. I'm really not impressed with how long Amazon has taken to send them to me. Um, so I discovered this Bitsy virtual pet uh, online actually. I think it's by Spin Master and I thought it was quite neat because it was a hologram. And so I thought I'd do a uh, little unboxing video of it because again the packaging there's been like thought and care put into it and I thought it might be interesting to do an unboxing of these. Incidentally I have seen a similar thing for sale in Japan um, called I think it's called Qubits and they're by Takara Tomi which is quite a good um, manufacturer of such things uh, in Japan so I'm wondering whether they originated over there. Uh, so I don't really know much about these, I've only seen little things online. Um, so the nice thing about the packaging is it's got a try me feature. So you do this, and there's the little doggy in there, you can just about see him. There he is. And uh, he just fetched a ball. The only thing I think that's not very good is the flickering of it. Um, I've noticed that I thought it was just on videos that they flickered because it's similar to doing like a TV screen um, video, you know, that flickers on the TV screen when you film it or a computer screen, the old computers, but apparently that's what it does. So the box is it's all kind of nice and shiny. It's got it in a million different languages as usual. Unlock 15 pets in each pod. So you've got various different ones. First digital pet you can touch. And that's really all it says. This looks to be the instructions here. Or it could just be a warning thing. Uh, so let's um, crack it open and have a look. How on earth do you get into this? Let's find out. I've got my trusty scissors with me. So snip either side. And that should lift the top part open like that. So we've got the top of it open. Can you just pick it out? No, of course not. It's in there pretty heavily. So I'm just going to do this the, the dirty way and just, just open the whole thing up like this. Clearly you've got to kind of tear into it a bit. It has actually got some sort of instruction on the back here. Again, the packaging is quite nice, but it's not going to make it too easy to get into. There we go, I've got the actual virtual pet um, out now. I think this just kind of pulls out here. There we go. So, put the packaging to one side. There's a virtual pet in its little thing. Just open this bottom part up here. And like that. So we can get underneath and there's all the instructions and stuff and it's taped down underneath here so we just get the scissors and cut it open like that there we go and we can now lift it off and of course there's more because there's always more it's all kind of tied together there undo these little loops or I could just cut it because it's a bit quicker I say it's a bit quicker there we go it's one side and the other side there there we go let's chop those bits over in the bin and we can finally lift it out so, this is Bitsy. There's the cover of it. It looks like you're looking through and there's lot, lots of little pets in there. It's also got little paw prints around the outside, which is cute. It comes with three AAA batteries as well. So, what have we got here? We've got a service thing, if you've got issues with it. We've got our little QR code thing. This is probably a massive thing telling you about warnings and stuff oh no actually this is a massive kind of instructions telling you about the how to install various things like batteries 
and then you've got this one here which is all the different pets you can get you've got common ones and rare ones and then you've got your legendary ones there as well so we use this one because it's a nicer instruction the other one's kind of a bit boring but this one has pictures and things so exit try me swipe once from left to right From left to right. Right, let's take that bit off. Watch your Blitzy is here to meet you. So there's the little dog there. Oh, that's weird. Apparently you're supposed to be able to touch it. Learn to play, touch from above only. Oh, okay. There you go. Or is that like that? Oh, it's tilt. Okay. <laughs> I should actually be reading the instructions instead of staring at it. So the next thing is lift up quickly. Well, that's pointing down, so tilt forward or backwards. Okay. Shake. Shake your blitzy. <laughs> Lift your blitzy up. And then swipe bar. Go into main menu. Swipe until you see the food icon. Right, so we've done that. Um, care. Use the actions you learned in the tutorial to care for your Bitsy and fill their love meter. And you can fill the love meter and your Bitsy will evolve. So he's a puppy at the moment, he's gone to sleep. Collect. Use treats to attract more Bitsy and collect all 15 characters. So the main menu. Love meter. So to get into the main menu, you do, you do this. Just swipe. Swipe to access the menu. I am swiping. a flexible display to select a menu option. Just playing music at the moment. Um, your Bitsy will send a message if they need something. Don't ignore these or you could lose a character. Tap on the message to address it or swipe to ignore it. Um, so it tells you what it's done. Uh, so love, poop, feed, sleep. And if you ignore them, obviously he runs away because you're not looking after him. And you can evolve him as well. When your Bitsy's love meter fills up, it will evolve. I think at the moment it doesn't really need anything. Oh, it's turned off. But now you can actually see what what it looks like. So let's turn it to the light a bit there. It seems to be like a little sort of a flappy thing that creates the illusion of the, the character. Either that or the character appears on this underneath there. But I think it's sort of like a hologram. And that's why I got this because I thought that the technology behind it was quite clever. So this thing moves up and down which creates the illusion that there's a little character there. So if I close it like that and open it There he is. Now, can I actually access the menu? Oh, there we go. My arms are getting tired. Uh, 
so love me to see how close your bitsy is to evolving and touch to feed your bitsy. I can't understand why he's... And if he just doesn't need it. Oh, there we go. So. Touch to open. Oh, there we go. Carrot. I just fed the cat. Apparently now there is a cat. Uh, house, touch to open, swipe through Bitsy, touch to select Bitsy. So, going, whoops. So it's feeding. The cat's not, it's the uh, thing isn't full. So I actually have a couple of these now. And I fed the cat. It seems to be, oh. The dog wants to go to sleep. Maybe I can... Oh no, last time I gave it a treat. There we go. How do I get him to go to sleep? Bitsy is tied. Oh, okay. Tilt him left to right to get him to go to sleep. There we go. Now he's asleep. Okay, so the dog's happy. I've got a cat and a dog at the moment. So I'm slowly sort of learning how to do it. And the dog's happy. So let's have a look, another look at the end. Oh, that actually does stay, stay open. There we go. Now oh, he's still making noises even though it's closed. So hopefully it will actually tell me um, when it needs something when it's closed. So you've got the main menu, as you can see, love me to food, house, treat jar, super bitsy, game or settings. I didn't get the game on mine because I don't have a super bitsy. Uh, need messages, so um, needs more love uh, or it's done a poop, it needs to be fed or it needs to go to sleep. And as I found out, you have to rock it to put it to sleep. Like I said, if you ignore it, it runs away and you can evolve it. So once the heart things... Um, you know, filled up, it will evolve. And there's three different life stages. So you've got the puppy, you've got like a child one, and then you've got the grown up one there. And there's treats and things you can give it to. Uh, so you can attract more pets. Now, obviously, I tapped on the fish and I've got a cat now. So if I tap on the carrot, it's likely I'll get a rabbit, I suppose. You can view your collection, which is in the house, and so you can tap which one you want to play with and then the super bitsy game so the super bitsy is the adult version once it's evolved and there's different games that you can play hedgehog gymnast clownfish surfer and then rocket pup snail racer turtle border budgie rockstar mouse chef gecko superhero cat dancer rabbit magician and poodle fashionista butterfly gardener papillon oh sorry i'm reading the french chameleon artist mercat pirate unicorn party animal and then there's settings as well. So it's a nice sort of like a different take on the whole virtual pet thing. Um, I'll probably do another video of this at some point so that you can see what other ones I've managed to find. Um, so I, yeah, I'll go on to it in a minute and I'll just get the rabbit. In fact, actually, I think I'll do that now just to show you what the rabbit looks like. You actually have to press on this fairly firmly. There, I'm attracting a rabbit. The 
now I have a rabbit. I've just fed him. So then if I go to the home, there's the puppy, the rabbit, I can go back and there's the cat as well. So the puppy is the one I've got the furthest with, so I'll go on that one. Oh, he's writing something, that means he needs something. Oh no, the cat! The cat needs love. A pet. There we go. The cat's had a pet. It's nice that you can just tap it and it goes straight to the animal instead of having to go through all the menus and that to get to them. <laughs> Don't close me in, says the cat. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's just a little thing that I thought I'd do in between the whole Furby thing that I'm going to be doing and there's going to be loads of Furby videos coming up so please stay tuned to my channel and I apologise that it's taken so long to get the Furbies. Um, like I said, they are on their way now. So as soon as they arrive, I will get on with that. Anyway, if you want to see more virtual pet videos, you can click out of the boxes that come up below. As always, please feel free to just check out my Etsy and New Monday stores. Uh, the links are in the description. I make plushies and artwork and take commissions. Or you can buy me a coffee on Ko-fi. Everything helps as well because um, if you enjoy what I do, the tips are always welcome. So that's all for this video. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Silverwolf signing off.